bridge gives you turntable-style tempo control of your Ableton Live set. In this video, we'll show you how to control Ableton Live from Serato Scratch Live. First, we'll start Ableton Live, though it doesn't matter which order the applications are opened. Next, we'll open Scratch Live and locate the Ableton Transport Control track. We can find this in the All Crate. Once we've located it, we'll drag it over to the right deck. If we now switch over to look at Ableton Live, we'll notice that Ableton Live's Transport Stop button is grayed out, as it is now controlled by Scratch Live. If we try to launch clips and scenes, you'll notice they flash but do not launch, as they are waiting for us to start a deck in Scratch Live. As soon as a record begins, Ableton Live's transport starts to run. Now Ableton Live and Scratch Live's transports are synchronized, as are the song position numbers. Adjusting the control vinyl speed affects the speed of the Ableton transport control track. Ableton Live's transport is visualized via bar and beat markers. These help you with visual feedback when beat matching with MP3s. We now have Ableton Live and an MP3 beat matched. Both of their outputs are coming through our DJ mixer. If we put the crossfader to the right, we hear just Ableton Live's output. And if we move our crossfader to the left, we'll hear our MP3 in Scratch Live. You can of course crossfade between both tracks as you would in a standard DJ setup. Another feature of the bridge is the ability to control Ableton Live from within Scratch Live so you don't have to switch between programs while performing. If you press the Ableton button, you'll open the view where you can see your clips as they are laid out in Ableton Live. You can launch them from Scratch Live or a MIDI controller, and all your changes are reflected with visual feedback, such as soloing and launching scenes. Changes you make on your external MIDI controller will be visible in the Ableton view. You can control effects, and sends across the tracks in your Ableton Live set. Here we will use the send A on our first track to access a delay effect in Ableton Live. We can also raise and lower the faders to control the levels of tracks. In the device view, you can see and control Ableton Live's effects. If we press the device view button, we can control parameters of the selected track's effects or instruments. You can turn devices on and off by clicking the header or by triggering it from a MIDI controller. Let's adjust our effects. This lets you remix and affect individual tracks and loops, all within one deck of Scratch Live. In the Ableton view, you can also mute, record enable, and stop clips on each track. You can also move between effects in the device view to locate a different effect. Click the header bar of a track and then scroll through the plugins on that track using the arrow keys beside the header of the effect in the device view. These parameters are also MIDI mappable, so you don't need to use your mouse. Another feature is the addition of CDJ style looping of Ableton Live's transport. In relative mode, Scratch Live's looping controls appear, and we can set loop length. We can decrease and increase the length of the loop.
Press the loop button again to release the loop, and Ableton Live's transport control will return to playing back as normal. When you exit the loop, you end up at the beginning of the loop, something that is not possible in Ableton Live alone. If you don't want to use up one of your decks in Serato Scratch Live, you can lock Ableton Live's tempo to the groove of the song on one deck. In this example, we have an MP3 in the left deck and the Ableton Transport Control track running in the right deck. To enable us to free up the right-hand deck, we need to assign the Ableton Transport Control track to the deck of our choice. We'll press the button Sync 1, and Ableton Live is now synced in the background to deck 1. To the right of the sync buttons, you'll also find nudge controls for the Ableton Control track. Note that the left deck will now control both Ableton Live and the MP3. Now that the right-hand deck is available again, we can load in another MP3. We'll match the beats, and once they're locked, we'll bring it into the mix. We can now mix between all three sound sources. Now that Ableton Live's transport is synchronized to our MP3s, we can load up extra drum beats or loops alongside our DJ set, with Ableton's time stretching syncing your beats in real time. You can augment your decks in Scratch Live with Ableton Live's samples, drum machines, and synths to enhance your mix. The bridge is free for registered owners of Serato Scratch Live and Ableton Live 8.